Steel left wrapped around trees, branches stripped bare and debris flung several hundred metres. Locals say they've never experienced anything like it. It was a huge explosion and then the lights flashed and then there were several other explosions. Crews spent most of the night working to clear the wreckage left by what residents described as a mini tornado. It was in fact a microburst caused by an intense column of air from a thunderstorm. But the weather band was so narrow it only affected properties in McLennan Street. Extremely lucky, yeah. If it had to come down a couple of hundred metres either way, it could have been a very different situation. Doug Abrahall was one of the few to witness the mini tornado. He had just finished running a fitness session on the Oval before the storm hit, trapping him in his ute. The car went right up on two wheels. Right up on two wheels and then back down. Absolute bomb going off. It's just amazing. Tiles were thrown from roofs and one car crushed under a collapsed roof. The area was without power for most of the day. It's a bit um, devastating, but... Well, just hopefully the insurance company comes good. The nearby hardware store was also struck, sections of its corrugated iron roof torn off by the powerful winds. What's going on in Ararat, a mini tornado? I haven't seen anything like it before. You can see the trail of destruction this mini tornado had tearing through this unused football club, throwing debris across the oval towards nearby homes. And the entire incident only lasted under 30 seconds. We were just lucky that it was actually dark and there wasn't dust. Uh, children coming home from school or people coming home from work. The wild weather also hit Melbourne. It brought down trees and made the walk to work rather soggy. Matt Gallant, 10 Eyewitness News.